What's up, Jabronis? You're about to another ratchet hopping into the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody episode number 34, season number two, called Health and Fitness. Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want. If you don't, that's totally cool. The episodes will be here too whenever they show up. Uh, previous episode, previous episode, we had the golf episode where Zach was kind of a jackass. And in the end, he didn't really learn his lesson, which kind of sucked. Um, I thought most of the episode was pretty good. And then at the end, he just didn't really learn his lesson. He was still kind of a jackass. He just was a less of a jackass because he was actually good at the sport and could actually beat the girl now. Didn't love that one. So we're going to hop into health and fitness, see where it takes us. Here we go. Hello, after you. Might as well get your cholesterol checked before me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mosby. That's a very nice of you. Oh, he's scared. Oh, uh, ladies first. Go ahead. He's scared of needles. <laughs> Madeline, would you Oh, like Mr. Big Man scared of a widow needle. <laughs> Is this going to be like a diabetes episode? Is he going to have diabetes? <sighs> I mean, just... You know, this health questionnaire is really interesting. It's the worst thing that can happen. Oh, oh no, the chef. <laughs> chef Paolo. The chef, What's Paolo, no. My blood test. It did not turn out so good. Come on, huge. And you have chicken legs. <gasps> That's the best 50 bucks I ever spent. That's not how this works. I mean, Maddie might be cool with it. I never thought I'd say this, but she makes you look sweet. <laughs> Why do you think I hang out with her? You don't think I'm too skinny, do you? No. And my foot's not too big, is it? Absolutely oh, my not. God. What? Are they going to have that happen in this episode? Oh, my God. What? They're going to do that in this episode? No way, right? I think I'm going to go for a little 10-mile jog. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a double, double cheeseburger with fries. Wow. And a shake. Wow. Three stories that are all very serious stories. Interesting. Okay, he's not getting he's not gaining weight by doing very that. Good. Like sure enough of butter, enough of cream. What happened to the soup? You ate it? I reduced it. How did you I'm trying to reduce you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, you were right. It did need the motor parmigiana. Ah! What Drop the it. fuck? Drop it. Who the hell would want to eat that? I know it's hard to quit cold turkey. Oh, cold turkey. So am I starting to get that full figure look? Oh my Your god. Looks a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my bus pass. <laughs> this is so <laughs> crazy. Dessert, what you got? Chocolate chip cheesecake with fudge sauce a la Paolo. Oh my god, that looks not that does not look good to me. I do nothing about that appeals to me. I'm not a fan of that. Cody's taking one for the team, apparently. That that looks like dark chocolate fudge, and I'm not about it. Still some chocolate left on his face. Let's lick it off. Let's lick it off. <laughs> this is so. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm not. Oh, this is not great, yo. Yeah. Everybody's having body Man, issues. It's awfully late. What are you still doing here? The fashion show is tomorrow, so I'm staying with London. Oh. I'm making sure she doesn't eat, and she's making sure I do. Why? Well, I need to fill out my dress more. Oh, she Mosby's gonna be the the voice of reason here. Less talking, more chewing. And it was much easier than I thought. <laughs> well, gotta go. Is that a whole sausage dog? A salami? What is that? Pepperoni? I have no idea how that chubba salami got there, I swear. <laughs> Let me get that. He was just gonna go make a sandwich. Cheese, and in my hat. Cheese bread, and what? salami. No dessert? Whatever you do, don't pat me on the butt. <laughs> you were doing funny. so well. I'm weak. At most. Is he gonna? Cody's gonna eat all the food, apparently. Cake is dessert. Pie is 
dessert. Ice cream is dessert. Okay. Fruit salad is not dessert. It's not that fruit. Salad. What that fruit. Is it? That fruit looks like it's glazed with something, I don't know though. Why you're making such a big deal out of this. Lots of kids love to have a shrimp hanging out of his mouth. He's eating leftover food, though. I mean, Paolo's got an issue. That's like crazy issue. It's a cannelloni. Nine cannelloni. What's a cannelloni? I can't have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the bed would have broke, but it, that was funny. What's this? Oh my God, he's got a chocolate bar hidden inside the book. You want to share? Where'd it go? Fight him for it. Break his legs. I look everywhere for a piece of candy. Where did you hide that? In one of my mom's cookbooks. She never looked there. This is not for me, man. I cannot eat that just hey, straight like that. You ever dip a chocolate in gravy? No. Well, you're not gonna be able to say that anymore. Oh, cool. oh God, no. Mm. No, that is just nasty. No. The fat from the truck. Do I look shapely now? Oh, poor Maddie too. Hey. Oh my God, he tricked you. He, he, is that ice cream? That ice cream, goddamn! Paolo, they're children. Uh -huh. Zach, see ya. See ya. Ugh, you, uh. Maybe I do have a small problem with sugar. Small problem, dog. Maybe I didn't help you out too much by making you quit cold. The only thing I know I have a problem with is honey buns. I love honey buns. Like I don't have like I choose not to have that many sweets. Well, the last thing I wanted um, was for in you my house. Like you had to hide sweets and then take I've been out. Have bars. I guess they're sweets. Yeah, that's not really working for me. So. What do you say we work? Uh, you want to eat yourself sick? Go ahead. Uh, Don't ask me to watch. Damn! What the hell just happened? Cody was like, uh, "Yo, they want me to act today. They want me to act today." The, the London part of this is that's very sad. Like this is both very sad. Whoa! She's stuffing her bra. What is happening? What is this episode? <laughs> Looks like you got a chest cold. Oh, a chest cold. What the hell? Oh, my damn. She said it looks like you got a chest cold. Are you sure you can handle coming in here? It's okay. Mom said it's all right if I stand next to the icing and breathe deeply. Mm -hmm. I just hope Chef Paolo isn't mad at me for being so hard on him. God. My little protege. Um, I I let, I eat you. My, <laughs> what the fuck? You're just the time at the my little protege. What the healthy mean? I call it delicious and healthy food. A la You're welcome. I'm so proud of you, my big protege. Oh. <laughs> but you're getting smaller every minute. Huh? Oh, this is such a sad little episode. I love it. Like a. I think I didn't even want to go to a fashion show. Yeah, now we're on a date with a couple of models. The girls are both so gorgeous. You sure you don't think I'm too skinny? Oh, I guess I don't love. I don't love this ending. You don't think I'm too? Oh, I don't love this. Not skinny. We, we need the opinion of two random dudes. <laughs> what were we thinking? Uh, uh, we whatever. And stuffing ourselves. I yes. know. It was so unhealthy, and we didn't even need to do it. Oh. Uh, we should well. just be happy with the way we look. Well, I should. <sighs> mean. My point is, next time one of your snarky friends makes a comment. Let's remind each other that we're perfect the way we are. Okay? Deal. Hmm. I guess Mosby is right after all. He always is. Woo! This was almost a perfect episode. For what like it's it's a it's an it was educational. It had great storylines. The acting was good. Some of the comedy was really good. I think it was almost a perfect episode for Sweet Life. Um and yeah, you know, I, I'm not gonna like hold too much against the ending here with the these boys here, but that's the only real negative I have of the episode is that in the end they needed to have the two random dudes that we've never met tell them that they're beautiful, and that made them be like, you know what, we're good. 
We don't have to change for nobody. Because these two boys thought we were good looking. Eh, don't love that. But other than that, I thought the episode was really good. Um, other than that, I thought the episode was actually great. Mosby be, being the voice of reason, um, bringing in the diabetes. Cody, all of a sudden, they were like, Cody, do you want to cook today? We're going to let Cody cook in the acting department. And they let Cody just kind of put it all out there and be an amazing, uh, amazing voice. When he was like that whole, I'm not going to be here to watch you do it. Like that was, this, was, this whole scene was great. Um, but yeah, the topic is interesting. I don't, it's weird, right? Cause as I guess the point is to be like, well, even the girl who apparently is like the girl who's perfect, even the whole stuffing or the bra thing, I guess. Um, cause in, in reality, they're all like the same size. <laughs> So it looks they all look the same size. Um, so that they were like, you know what, London, quote unquote, too fat, Maddie, too skinny. And then they were looking at this like girl, like she was perfect, and then at the end they had her stuff her bra, or whatever. I think that's a cool balance of like, you know, showing because this show is probably for like teens, right? Like 13 year olds, probably preteens and teens, I'm guessing at this point. Um, and it's a good thing because I'm sure a lot of, at this age, a lot of people have this issue and, you know, especially kids and all that deal with all that. So I thought that was actually a really good way to do the message. I wish they would have done more of the diabetes thing with Zach. Um, but they didn't, that would have been like something I would have added. Um, I would have added some of the diabetes thing because they kind of like glossed over it a little bit and didn't show like the, like the dangers of what it could be. Um, I thought Paolo was funny. He was a bit over the top, if we're being honest. Um, like, he was a bit over the top with, like, the eating of random stuff, like, off the floor and everything. Uh, but, yeah, overall, really good message, a really good episode. Cody, honestly, Cody was probably the best part of the episode. He really let himself, like, cook in the acting department, so... I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did as well. Gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.